So your devotions are your link to heaven, and your link to heaven accesses divine power. Now, now listen, some of you all have been depressed, up and down, wishy-washy, in and out, stable and unstable for years because you're not devoted. You have never in your entire life read the Bible every day. That is over. And you are responsible for this word. And I'm giving you a clue to why you've been swept back and forth by every wind and doctrine and stuff and stuff hurts you and, and, and you collapse under certain conditions. There are things coming in your life. I guarantee you, you will not be able to handle if you're not devoted. Something's going to arise, Doc. You, you understand what I'm saying? Something will arise that, the, that your strength is not sufficient yes. to get through it. Yes. But you've got a link to God. Yes. You've got, you got Jesus on your lips, and you're not one of these people running because you got in trouble. You're not one of these. The Lord said, well, I haven't seen you in a while. Now, we know God is not like that, but you know you are more comfortable going before your father if you go every day. Weak Christianity is born out of one thing, a prayerless life. And I want you to go farther. You are speaking volumes to us by your attitude. You are revealing your inner chambers by just your demeanor. You're giving us dramatic clues to whether you are prayerful, whether you are biblical, whether you are godly, whether you are holy, when we see you and you talk to us, you are revealing your heart. The harshness, the, the coldness, the cruelty, the detachment, the insensitivity in your own home, your own marriage, to your own mama, you don't even respect your mama no more. You are, you are telling us that you don't pray. Because if you pray and talk to God, he convicts us of sin. He tells us to change. 